Hey guys, this is App Review. Today we'll be taking a look at ClearCoat for the Apple iPod Touch 4G. This is basically scratch protection for your iPod Touch. And this is full body, so it covers the front, the back, and sides. This does retail on their website for $24.95, and that's www.clear-coat.com. So now let's take a look at the box and see what it comes with exactly. You do get a spray, you do get a squeegee, and then you get the skins for itself. Then this it said that this is scratch proof, which is always great. Basically, this is why you're going to get this product to prevent scratches for your iPod. And usually you'd get this because you don't want to use a case and you want to keep the slim form factor of the iPod while protecting it. It does offer lifetime and installation guarantees, which means if you mess up while installing, they'll send you out another kit. And then also, if something happens to it while it's on your device, they will send out another one. So, like you, as you can see, it says it comes with a custom cut clear coat, an application solution, and a squeegee. So we'll take a look at that right now. So when you open the box, you do get installation instructions on how to do that exactly. It's pretty simple, um, so I'm not going to take a look at this right now. You do get those custom cut sheets with the skins on them. You have the front and the back. You also get that application solution which we were talking about. Um, basically you just spray this on the skin and then you squeegee out all the solution with this rubber squeegee. And finally, all you need to do is leave this to dry for about 48 hours. So we'll put this off to the side and we'll take a look at the case now. Sorry, the skin. So just a little note, this does work with loads of cases. Um, basically what you're looking for is a case that is not too tight fitting. And the case that I've been using it with is the Sweet Cheesy Colors, which is fine. So ma mainly silicone cases. For example, I have the Spec Candy Show right here and this does not work with it because it is such a tight fit. So this probably won't work with slider style cases, maybe snap-ons, most silicone, but uh, I wouldn't really, hard shell cases probably won't work. So first of all, let's talk about installation. Installation was very simple. It was just a matter of spraying the back of the solution in your hands, laying it on top, adjusting it however you'd like, and then basically very um, pushing very slightly down, just squeegeeing out the solution, and then leaving it to dry. I did the front first, left that to dry, and then I did the back. Now, my iPod has no scratches and I really want to keep it that way, so this is why I went with the clear coat full body kit. This is very similar to Zag and Rapsil and Beskins Ever, and all those products compete in the same market. So basically, it must differentiate somehow in order to gain consumers and keep those consumers. Now, Zag is known for having that annoying orange peel effect. On this, I can see that there is a little bit of it. I don't see, I don't think you can pick that up on camera. You don't feel it, but you do see it some a uh, little bit while it's off. When the screen is on, it does not degrade the quality of the screen at all. I can see that retina display perfectly. This is not anti-glare, by the way. This is crystal clear. So one of the major problems with being crystal clear is obviously you get loads of fingerprints. But on the other hand, you do get that perfect quality and it does not degrade it at all. So taking a look at the back, I think I did one of the best installs of the back that I've done. When I tried it with the invisible shield, all the little sides around here lifted terribly. Now in this case, you can see that everything is laid down fine all across those sides. So I'm very pleased with that. As you can see, the camera cutout is per pretty spot on. Um, but one of the downsides to this is that you you do not get full protection. Is you might be able to make out the uh, protector actually stops right here. So this little corner is exposed, as well as this corner, this corner, and this corner. So I would say this is probably about a 99% protection of your device. You do get the whole front protected except for the home button and the camera right there. And then the back has a little bit more exposed right here, has the buttons the camera and the microphone and some of the sides. But overall it does protect most of the device and it does it very well. So like I said this product does retail for $24.95 and in comparison to other types of, the, of this I would say that this is amongst some of the top contenders. I really don't like Zag. I'm a big fan of Rapsol and now I'm a big fan of Clearcoat. So overall I'd say this is definitely a good buy if you decide that you want this type of protection and best of all, like I said, it does work with 
uh, a good amount of cases in my 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 case. Um, I've used maybe six cases, and I own about twelve for this iPod Touch. So about half of the cases that I have will work with this. So it's always great to have that double protection. You do have this slim form factor from the skin. Unfortunately, because it is so thin, you do not get any drop protection. But when picking this up, you do know, or you are looking for something that will offer just scratch protection and not drop protection. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more content. Remember to check out the website over at www.buzzgadgets.com. Cheers, guys.